After many years, a new pharaoh ruled. He did not remember what Joseph had done for Egypt. The people of God became enslaved. They were trapped. They couldn't go home. There were so many of the people of God in Egypt that the pharaoh was afraid they would take his kingdom away from him. So he said that all the baby boys had to be killed. One of the mothers made a basket of bulrushes woven together and hid the baby in the basket. She put the basket in the reeds by the Nile River. The daughter of the Pharaoh found the basket. She named the baby Moses and raised him in the palace. When Moses was a young man, he saw an Egyptian beating one of the people of God. Moses grew angry and killed him. Then he ran away into the desert. Moses stayed with the family of Jethro. He married Zipporah, one of Jethro's daughters, and became a shepherd. He lived there for 40 years. One day, while Moses was taking care of Jethro's sheep, he took them to the mountain of God, Mount Horeb, which is also called Sinai. Suddenly, he saw a bush that was burning, but did not burn up. God spoke to Moses from the burning bush. God told Moses that the cries of the people of God in Egypt had been heard. Moses was to go and set the people free. Moses said, but who am I to do such a thing? God said, I will be with you. What is your name? My name is Yahweh. I am who I am. Can't you send someone else? Aaron, your brother, will go with you. He will speak for you. So Moses went back to Egypt to tell the Pharaoh to let his people go. Moses went many times to the Pharaoh to tell them to let God's people go. And many times the Pharaoh said, no. Terrible things happened in the land of Egypt. Finally, the Pharaoh said, yes. God helped Moses lead the people through the waters into freedom. Moses led the people through the desert for 40 years. The people of God grew tired and hungry and discouraged, and they grumbled to Moses. But God showed the people that God was with them by giving them quail and manna to eat in the desert. When the people were thirsty from traveling in the desert, they complained to Moses, and Moses talked with God. God told Moses to strike a rock with his staff. Water came out of the rock so the people could drink. Something happened that made God angry. Moses did not keep faith with God in the midst of the people. So God told Moses that he would see but never enter the promised land. The people were free but they didn't know the best way to go. With God's help, Moses led the people to God's mountain, Mount Sinai, where God had spoken to him from the burning bush. And Moses went up on the mountain to talk with God. The people waited and waited and waited. Moses was gone a long time. The people began to think Moses was never coming back. So they asked Aaron to make them a new god to lead them. Aaron took all of the gold the women were wearing and melted it. Then he shaped the melted gold into a calf. He gave the calf to the people, saying, Here is your god. And the people built an altar and worshipped the golden calf. Moses came down from the mountain. His face was shining. He carried the ten best ways, but found the people worshiping the golden calf. He grew angry and broke the stone tablets on which the ten best ways were written. He took the golden calf and threw it in the fire. 
the people were so sorry. So God gave Moses the 10 best ways again, and Moses gave them to the people. God told Moses to have the people make a box called an ark to hold the 10 best ways. The box was covered with gold and it had poles on the sides so the people could always carry it with them wherever they went. God told Moses how to make a tent called a tabernacle for the ark. When the people stopped to rest in the wilderness, God's glory filled the tent and Moses came close to God there. When he came out, his face was shining. After 40 years, they came to another mountain, Mount Nebo. Moses looked over into the promised land from the mountaintop, and God said, I will give this land to the people of God, but you will not cross over. Moses died there, and no one knows to this day where he was buried. I wonder what part of the story you liked best. I wonder what the most important part of the story is. I wonder what part is about you or what part was especially for you. I wonder if we can leave out any of the story and still have all that we need.